So we just have the one case now, is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, and we have, let's see. It's Diana's um, determination of non-conforming use. Okay. And it's um, Curtis Livingston is the um, applicant. Okay. I so noticed this time, I was going to tell you that a lot of the, um, not this one, but some of the other staff reports weren't in the Dropbox. Um, I actually accessed them on the city's website and read them all, but they weren't all in the Dropbox for some reason. Were you accessing Dropbox from your file explorer or through um, your browser? Through my browser. And I would go to the files, go to the date, you know, 2022, and then January 13, and it would show all of the different cases, but some of them had were empty. The folders were empty. That's weird. Um, so I did remove them as they were postponed or withdrawn. Okay. So I wonder. But I think early on, I when I started read through them, I ended up reading, and maybe some of them got put there and I didn't see them, so I ended up just going to the city's website and reading them there, so. Yeah, Um. so they don't technically have to be turned in and in Dropbox until the right. Friday prior to the hearing, so it might have just been that they hadn't been put there yeah. yet. Yeah, and I figured they don't even really have to be in Dropbox at all, they just have to be in uh, we do Dropbox so. for for staff convenience is basically yeah. what it is. Curtis, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you to make sure your microphone and everything's working. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? I can. Thank you. Perfect. Um, Greg, I have unmuted you. Are you um, planning on making a public comment tonight? Greg Fix, you're, you've been unmuted. Can you hear me? Kyle Mendoza, I am unmuting you. Are you planning on making a public comment tonight? I'm a part of the architectural firm, and so if needed, but I'm with Curtis Livingston. Okay, great. Thank you. Curtis, did you have your hand up? Oh, I did. I was just going to let you know there'll probably be several individuals that I've invited just to be part of it in case there's need for their comment. Greg Fix is is part of that. Okay. Uh, Grant Grant with Leland Anderson. So you may see a few of those, um, and we I could let you know. But they're just here. Some are owners, some are contractors, and some are architects, just so we can I'll be hearing the information and understand how we're moving forward. So. Okay, great. Thank you.
Curtis, I've gone ahead and put you into the participants list. So you are now able to mute and unmute yourself. Um, please only unmute yourself when you've been asked to speak. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Who wants hosting privileges? I can take them if you'd like. Okay. They're all yours. We're ready. Um, we should probably mention that there are four items that have been postponed on tonight's meeting um, in case anybody's here to listen to those. Yeah, I'll go through the agenda. Okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. We'll let uh, okay. you get this started. Okay, welcome to the Salt Lake City Planning Division Appeals Hearing Meeting for Thursday, January 13th, 2022. My name is Mary Woodhead. I'm the Appeals Hearing Officer tonight. Um, we have um, five items on the agenda tonight, but we're only hearing one. The appeal of the zoning violation at 922 East Elm Avenue has been withdrawn. The appeal of zoning violation at 1852 East 2700 South has been postponed. The appeal of the zoning violation at 954 has been continued to a later date. And the appeal of zoning violation at 1229 East 1700 South has also been continued to a later date. So tonight's agenda consists of the determination of non-conforming use change at approximately 142 West 200 North. That matter is a public hearing. Um, so we will go forward as follows. I will um, ask to hear from Salt Lake City. I understand um, the planner on this is Deanna Martinez. We'll ask to hear from Diana, and then we'll hear from the applicant. Um, that At that point, I'll open the public hearing and allow anyone who wants to make comments to do so. Those will be limited to two minutes, at which point I'll close the public hearing and allow um, both the city and the applicant to make any final comments. Does anyone have any questions? So, okay, let's get started on the 142 West 200 North non-conforming use matter, and I will hear from Salt Lake City first. Oh, I will add that I have read the staff report, so I am familiar with this. Okay, thank you. Um, I am Diana, uh, planner for tonight. I don't want to uh, go over the entire staff report since obviously you have read it. I do want to touch on a couple of things. First. By code, the definition of institution is an organization or establishment providing religious, educational, charitable, me medical, 
cultural or government services. On that note, staff looked at three considerations for this determination. The first consideration was existing nonconforming use. It has been found that the church was um, in that building, the church use of an institutional uh, place of worship was used in that building since 1965. Therefore, because of the zoning change in 1995, it did become a nonconforming use. That's the first consideration. The second consideration is similar land use type. So when we look at the church place of worship to the institutional um, school K through eight and the senior high school, we have determined that um, those two land uses are very similar. And we have found them in three tables within the Salt Lake City Co Code. Um, they are listed in the staff report, but Within those three tables, both the church use and the school use are found, and let me clarify, private school use have been found in three tables to where they're either permitted uses or conditional uses within those three, three tables. The third consideration is required off-street parking. Right now, the subject property um, offers over 100 parking spaces, and in going through the applicants um, numbers for the school that meet the parking requirements for the school for both the K through eight and the senior, the excuse me, the senior high school, um, they come out less than 20 needed required. So we we think that they have adequate parking. Um, with those three considerations being met, we recommend that you do. Um, change the use and allow the school K through eight and the senior high school to take over. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will now hear from the representative of the applicant. We sure appreciate the opportunity to meet with you this evening. Um, I appreciated Diana's uh, presentation that that really explains everything that we're we're hoping to accomplish. Um, I've appreciated their thoughtful consideration and and look at the different uses and um, yeah, we obviously agree. We, we, we support recommending approval as well, but <laughs> are there any questions that you might have um, for us? Tell me a little bit about what kind of school it's going to be. Okay, um, so the school is going to be for American Heritage. It's a private school. It will serve initially um, students K through eight, and then later on as as need arises and as uh, they are able to, you know, as as interest grows, and they will probably expand to a senior high school all the way from so it'll be K through twelve. Um, it uh, they're hoping to get things in line so that they can start in August. Um, uh, they will be able to take over uh, possession of the building in april uh, the church intends to uh, leave that building and, and move into a, a new building and therefore they will be able to lease a space at that time uh, so we're kind of in that early stages where we will prepare to um you know make some uh, a few interior renovations so that they can make that a functioning school okay thank you thank you anything else you're welcome Okay, thank you. So I am going to close that portion of the hearing and open the public hearing so that if any members of the public or the digital audience, virtual audience would like to comment, um, let us know and you'll have two minutes. Is there anyone here who'd like to speak to this? Um, and just for the crowd, if you would like to speak, there is a little hand emblem that you need to click on the bottom right hand of your corner. It looks like a little glove or a mitten. If you click on that, that'll indicate to us that you would like to speak. Um, Officer Woodhead, I do not see any hands. Okay, seeing no, no one who wishes to speak, I will close the public comment um, and bring it back to Salt Lake City. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? 
I, on that note, I do want to add that the staff did not receive anyone in opposition. I did have one call um, regarding the location of of where the application was. Um, there was some misunderstanding on the address for the building, but that was the only call that I did receive, but nothing in opposition. Okay, thank you. Um, I will then close this proceeding um, and I am going to make a finding that um, this use is sufficiently similar to the existing non-conforming use of institutional place of worship to allow the change of use on the subject property. I will issue a written decision memorializing the, that opinion within the next week or so. Um, thank you, everyone. Does anyone have any other questions? Oh, I just say okay. thank you. We thank really you. appreciate your we appreciate your time and consideration. Okay, thank you. Um, and I guess that closes today's meeting, unless there's anything else. That's it. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Mary. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you.